All right, we've got uh, mod battles today. We've got the herbivore hazard. This is gonna be uh, three herbivores every time, minimum one mod. Um, and this is what we're facing off the top. Uh, so decently high creatures, nothing too crazy. Uh, no mods that are gonna give insane amount of health on the other side. And so, and no, um, no nullify, no survivor, no terrify. Uh, so we should be good for this first battle with a splinter. So let's go pick up a splinter. Hopefully folks are doing well in the VIP tournament. If you are a VIP player, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna get some mm, protectors. That's not gonna help us. But it might help us do some mod PvP after after this. There's another protector. Okay. It's number three, three third times charm, maybe? Nope. Another protector. Three protectors. Well, let's, we're gonna make it four protectors, it looks like. Okie dokie. Now a shuffle. Now another protector. Wow. This is a lot of protectors. Now it's going to be a shuffle. Okay, well. It might take a while here apparently to get a, uh, a splinter. Apparently splinter is not on the menu. There we go. Okay, well, let's uh, get up here and take care of this battle. Now let's do two throwaways and do a Segnosuchus with a splinter on the Segnosuchus. Just a little bit of a reduction in attack, but nothing too crazy. Nothing that's gonna cause us any heartburn, I should say. Should be straightforward. We'll get to a point where we will reserve four and let him uh, kill us after our second creature here. And uh, we'll be on our way. Reserve four this time. Let's see if uh, see if he goes for it. It's only one. That's not good. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer. That means he's got two left. And let's hope that uh, six thirty four. So half would be. Uh, is that sixteen? And then that cut in half. Ooh, it's gonna be close if he blocks on that uh, last creature, but we're about to find out. Okay, I only blocked one, so we're good. We would have blocked two. It would have been uh, it would have been tricky. I don't know if we would have had enough to kill that Diplodocus. But we don't have to worry about it because he did. All right. Let's see what we got facing here. Okay, so again, nothing on the leadoff creature that is a problem. Uh, we do see that uh, that Diplodocus at the end has got uh, 10,219 health. And we've got a uh, distraction on, um, on this first uh, Alarcosaurus. So that is going to lower our attack a bit. Let's see, what are we working with here? Uh, let's see, 3, 2, 2, 8 is our attack. Uh, let's see. What is that? Uh, so I'm just going to do some quick calculations here. See if we're gonna be in any trouble with our typical lineup here. Right. Okay, so let's see. This equals this.
10% for that. Uh, one. Okay, so distraction, I can't remember if that is 10% or 15%. 15%. Mm. Okay. Okay. So, so uh, some quick math. We have got some problems. So, if I do my strongest Cygnus Suchus, that's 3,228 attack. If I'm able to get a 8 attack off uh, with the distraction, uh, I'm looking at 54,876 attack. Uh, if I do that, uh, first creature is going to get 27,000 um, attack points, and the next two I get 13,719. No problems. However, if I only get seven attack off, I'm only going to have 42,255 attack. Uh, first creature, not a big deal, it's 21,127, but the next two creatures will get 10,564, making uh, the Diplodocus okay, because that's just barely over. If I only get six, it's going to be a no-go. So we got to hope that we get at least six attack off if I can get a splinter. So let's go see uh, what we can pick up here. And another protector, and it's awesome. That's just flipping fantastic. And this is probably, yep, there we go, shuffle. Come on, splinter, nope. I feel like they might have changed the wheels a tiny bit because I can't really tell what I'm getting, which is kind of untypical. Usually you can kind of tell, but it's nice if they did, uh, did mix it up a little bit. Hopefully splinter this time. There we go. Okay. So again, we need to get at least seven attack off on this. Otherwise, uh, we will not kill that last creature. And it will be for not. Gosh, we got 10 of the other mods that we gotta go take care of after we're done with this. Let's see what we get on this last battle. Getting thing tricky or crazy. Alright, so. Again, gonna get to the point where we're passing off 8 to just like my suit just at the end. an attack. Oh, yeah, we'll do that. That's good, too. Three. Okay, perfect. So he's got one left, which is not a big deal, because um, it's seven. Uh, we should be doing 10,564 uh, to that... Uh, last creature which is just enough so let's see if he blocks one yet so let's see if my math was right uh oh it's a little off there it should be close uh yeah so off by one which is plenty all right let's see what we got here for this last one Okay, we got a splinter, we got a nullify. Oh, so you got 12,048 health on that last Therizinosaurus. That is a lot of health. Doable if we get eight off. Not doable if we do not. Hmm. Let's see. And which one is that for on that first creature? Uh, that is Killer Instinct. So, so every one of our creatures he, he kills, which if we do the typical, it's going to be two. Um, and uh, 
they will get an extra action point, uh, which is no good. Um, yeah, we'll try it. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, might have to do slightly different, but let's see if we uh, see if we can get a splinter right away. There we go. That's perfect. Okay. And then I'm going to pick up a toxin, hopefully. And there we go. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to do slightly different here on this one. Still going to do... I want to do a throwaway... I do not. I do not want to do a throwaway. At least not right off the bat. Uh, let's do a... 26663. Go with a Apatosaurus. It's got such low attack though. I don't think that's a good idea. No, I'm not going to do that. We're going to go Segnosutris. Then a Potosaurus, and then... No, I do that either. Segnosuchus, Segnosuchus. And then if we need to, a Potosaurus. So we're going to do a Toxin first, and then a Splinter. And then we're going to do a Protector on the end, just because we've got them. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see how this plays out. If this plays out the way I think it will... Uh, we will block the first one, do damage, taking down the Therizorosaurus uh, enough to where we should be okay, especially after two rounds. Yep, perfect. So now he's down below to where we just need to get seven uh, to our next guy. Right, so we didn't attack at all, and so we're going to have to... To reserve to all right, so now we still have to get seven off in order to kill him. Perfect, we got this. This is gonna drop him down to where we just have to get five off. Or six off, sorry. I don't think he's gonna see us. He's just, he's just scared of us. He's just scared. Yeah, now we just have to get five off. This is in the bag. It's made it much easier than it, than it really uh, thought it was going to be there. Enough. Done Dizzle. Like Stega. Gotta love the bonus points right now for loyalty points. Alright, so let's uh let's get a couple of mod battles knocked out. This should be fun since we've got uh, all of those fancy mods. Uh, oh gosh, this is gonna be terrible, but uh uh, wait a minute. Why? Okay, yeah, that's right. Um, uh, go... There. Uh, 
The only dangerous part about using a shuffle here is that it's going to uh, see what we get here. We're going first. Well, it's not terrible. It's not great either. Uh, shield, even if he swaps and does attack, it's not going to hurt us too much. Oh, never mind, I forgot he's got a little five. And that's okay. Uh, we will do a swap here. And then uh, we're just going to reserve out here. Hopefully, he doesn't swap again. He might. And if he does, that's okay. two attacks. I want to get at least one off because I don't know if uh, two from the Thymocles was going to be enough to kill uh, the Indominus Rex. Um, but hopefully he'll go for all five now as well. Perfect. And really why that's so good is A, we've got the Protector still on our side, so we're going to automatically get one bonus point. Two, and it wouldn't have killed him, so I'm glad I did the uh, what I needed to do there. And then we're gonna block three. Could probably only block two since uh, we're gonna have class advantage and uh, the shield on us. So he's got one extra block already. Gotta remember that. Got one block, two to kill him, one block, two more block, and then we'll reserve one. Oh, there we go, perfect. Alright, he can kill us obviously with uh, enough, enough hits here, even with our shield. which he obviously forgot about, <laughs> which I'm okay with. And I think the AI sometimes doesn't realize what uh, what their different mods do, <laughs> and it just acts like the mods aren't there, which is crazy. All right, let's see what we get here. Shunosaurus. Ah, I don't need the extra legendary great jars. All right, let's do this. Uh, this one will do three shuffles. See what kind of fun we get paired with. This is kind of nice because, like I said, I think on one of my other videos that uh, ultimately it uh, just kills three. Oh, he's got some good mods. Let's hope we end up with those. Yes, he's got some very good mods, especially that Terrify. Let's hope we end up with that and the regenerate. All right, well, there's one. And we got the regenerate back. Okay, he ended up with the terrify, unfortunately. Um, but we do have the. Uh, so every time we lose one of our creatures, we get an extra action point, and we get the regeneration. So that is good. But the terrify is brutal. It is brutal. Only good thing is that uh, if we do take any damage, we have the ability to heal ourselves a little bit. I was hoping it was going to bring the Terrify in. 
I did not. Um, let's go here. And we're gonna reserve. Hopefully he swaps. Not swap, he does kill us. Okay, well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. He's got one left. Can't, can't do the extra. Okay. Phew. All right, so he's got five. Can do three. He's probably gonna swap. There's not. Oh, this one's kill us. No, okay, good. Okay. And we're gonna heal ourselves here. I think. Oh no, it's only healing the other team. Oh, it's only the rest of our team. Hmm. Okay, well. Let's he's dead, which is good. He's gonna take two to kill us. Okay, we're good. We're good. We are good. We're gonna get an extra one. We'll have six. We are golden. Action points. Let's see what we get on the mod elite wheel. Velociraptor DNA, I'll take it. Getting very close to uh, my next Velociraptor. And we'll do one more of the aquatic mods. Go here, here, and here. Three protectors. Let's see what we get matched up against. Clear out all of our mods so we don't get any crazily bad offers in the trade harbor. Well, let's see. Oh, we got some good mods on the other side also. That is the only dangerous part about uh, bringing legendary mods to a pvp mod battle is the ai is going to match you with equally uh, strong uh, mods on the other side typically which uh, technically we don't because we've only got two legendary on the other side but uh, those are some good legendary ones Excellent. And uh, we need to attack to kill. Can't attack to. Uh, to wound uh, with that uh, regenerate on the um, opposing team. All right, and we got rid of their protector, so. Now they won't get an extra action or extra extra defense point every turn. So he can kill us, so he should. There we go. And it'll be dominoes from here on out. Alright. Should get two extra blocks. Not gonna need them, but uh, take them. I mean, I'll definitely take them. Nothing he can do but sit there and wait to die. 
in in case folks are wondering the type of mods that you bring to the battle has no bearing on the actual prize wheel um so folks were asking about that on the forums i think or in um let's so we get more than eight action points uh let's see we got uh eight there's nine um the mods that you bring does nothing. It's really all about creatures, and it's just creatures that get you to the appropriate wheel. Once you get to that wheel, you could bring the strongest creatures, or you can bring just strong enough to get the elite wheel, and you get the same chances at the prizes as you would uh, otherwise. Oh, that would have been nice. Hey, it's enough to get to the next uh, Indoraptor. Nice. That will be a Tuesday purchase at the next hatchery discount. Uh, what did I forget? Oh, here we go. Let's pick up this. This is nice. All good. Uh, hey, I wasn't paying attention, but it looked like they switched. I just switched over to level 90 uh, today. I think today. I don't know if last night or today. I can't remember, actually. Um, and it looks like uh, I already have my uh, daily event switched over to no longer giving experience, which is nice. I appreciate that. Because uh, now I get the uh, Dino Bucks back in uh, my, my trades, slash, whatever you want to call it. Still haven't got the fix for the Clash of Titans DNA, SDNA mission. Um, if I don't get it by tomorrow, it's not going to matter. I'm going to definitely complete that event tomorrow. Uh, because I want to pick up that pack while the bonus is uh, still going. Put that guy in. Just keeping the uh, fuse chambers busy. Uh, this guy is still chilling. Anything new here? Yep, take that. And see, see a lot of people think this might be good. It might be if you don't have your trade harbor cleaned off, but um, the wildlife preservations just are not as good. Um, they're pretty, they're nice, you know, but uh, selling this 3500 uh, Potosaurus fossil. $561,000. Uh, I don't believe, and I do need to check actually, because um, I do feel like some of the VIP buildings, like uh, the Earth Park, um, had, I got a couple on the prize drop uh, earlier in the week, and I had them in my inventory when I went in to do a trade harbor. And I got, uh, I didn't get a Dino Buck offer, but I got a DNA offer for one. It was a little over 500, um, which is, I don't know if I've ever seen an Apatosaurus fossil ever go for over 500. Uh, and so, you know what, I'm going to do, I'm going to do that, uh, I'm gonna do that trade. I'm gonna pick up these, and I will check to see um, on my next. Uh, and by the way, somebody asked if I could do this, so I'll do it right now. And I will click on uh, the badge beacon. Uh, it's not full, uh, clearly, but uh, I wanna say it's gonna be probably 125 million, 100 and, 150. 40 million maybe let's see what we get here let's see if it'll even show us 161 million so 161 million coins um on the badge beacon uh clearly more than uh, what we need um but uh that is one of the reasons why when i do the custom trades uh i don't mind doing um I can do a bunch of them for coins for something because I got plenty of coins to uh, to trade off. Lots of them. Uh, let's get that maxed out. And I think that is going to do it for this mod, uh, mod video. All right, everybody. Have a good night. Stay safe. And I'll catch you in the next video. If you made it this far, I appreciate you watching all the way to the end. Subscribing to my channel and clicking the notification bell will ensure that you'll be notified as I release videos on the channel. If you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting the like button. If there is something specific you would like a video on in the game, please leave a message in the comment section below on what you would like to see. Again, thank you for tuning in, and I will catch you on the next one.